Our next clip also hangs on one critical moment. But that's after champion kite surfer Lewis Crathen had spent a year waiting for the perfect storm. Every human being has a urge to fly and want to know the feeling of flying. And kite surfing actually gives you that feeling. It is like you imagine. It's acceleration. It's, 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 it's impossible to describe, really. It is flying for six or seven seconds, anyway. In 2010, Lewis planned a jump that was a huge challenge, even for a four times UK champion. Lewis managed to capture his unrepeatable and unauthorised stunt on camera. The appeal to jump Brighton Pier was certainly the fact that there was no laws, there was no do's or don'ts. In a way, there were no signs on the wall saying you can't kite surf here, and that is an, a massive draw for me. I like that in between grey area. It's awesome that you can smash down the walls of it with just a kite surfing jump. Most people are under the impression that I trained to, to jump Brighton Pier for a year. In fact, I was already ready and able to jump well above the height to do it years ago. It's in fact the combination of the elements that you need in your favour, the wave height, the wave angle, the wind speed, the wind angle, the tide height. And even on the day, it wasn't perfect. I had to wait two hours for the wind to change slightly. The, the tide had actually moved further out than I wanted it to, so I had further height to jump. If the wind or the wave strength change, Lewis risks serious injury or even death. He can't go under the pier because of the massive ironwork while railings, buildings and flagpoles above it mean he needs a huge jump to clear it. Once I'd moved closer to the pier, I was at a point of no return, really. I couldn't actually tack out past the pier. It's very much a case of being relaxed, no sudden movements, one quick movement there with the kite and it's straight into the pier and it's over. So it's very much about being patient and just hoping, where's this wave going to come? When's the wave going to come? And once I saw the big wave come up, it was an easy decision, I think. I think most carters would have seen that wave and thought, wow, I've got to go for that full speed. It was a dream wave which really set up the jump. Lewis needs to harness winds gusting up to 60 miles an hour to clear the 50-foot structure. lovely gust as I went over the pier and it carried me further than most jumps I've ever done. I'm up there and I can hear the cheers of some of my team on the pier. I do remember a few split seconds where I looked over and just thought, wow, that is a view that nobody else can say they've had. It's actually when you touch down the other side of the water, that is the most exhilarating, amazing feeling you have because it's definitely complete. All in all, it worked out perfect in the end. The jump itself was perfect. 